the hardest part for me, at least, is that the as a founder, you need to be as the CEO, you need to be constantly on, right? You need to be constantly positive and selling the business and selling the vision, and 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 that includes to your wife, right? <laughs> um, at least for me, that's that's been the case. Is you know, if I talk too much about the the, the negative stuff to her, she starts to get freaked out, and it's and it's and that and, that, and that's not good. So. It, it, it is a little bit lonely in that there's sometimes, you, you know, you, you need somebody to be able to confide in about all the, the bad stuff that's going on, whether it's, you know, personnel issues, you know, team issues, fundraising issues, even like, you know, and, and, and you know, um, when, you're, when you're doing big biz dev deals or M&A deals, um, there's a lot, of, a lot of stress involved in that. And for me, the, the, the best part about doing a Startup Accelerator is that I have a, a network of about 15 other founders, or more actually really, um, who I talk to pretty regularly. There's really five actually that, I, that are all, they're still located within a few blocks of me here in Philadelphia. And I get to go, I talk to them all the time about that stuff. And uh, occasionally I'll just, you know, call them on a Sunday night and just say like, I just need to vent for a few minutes. And you're pretty much like the only person that I can talk to who will understand what I'm going through right now.